Hi, my name is India Trestle, also known as Yarn Dance, and I make Tamari Balls. As you can see, they're bright and colorful. They come in a lot of different designs, and I'd like to give you just a little idea of how I stitch these. Tamari is a traditional Japanese art, um, originated uh, over hundreds of years ago, um, and it was originally made from recycled cloth, balled up and wrapped uh, with thread and embroidered in intricate designs. I start out with a styrofoam ball, which then I overwrap with fingering weight sock wool because you can't stitch into styrofoam. And then I wrap it again with about 350 yards of sewing thread for the background color. And then I mark it and pin it for the design that I'm going to make. The ball I'm going to stitch today does use this basic marking pattern. This is a lozenge design, and as you can see, I've completed one of the large lozenges already, um, and now I want to work on the second one. I've put down the first couple of um, courses of thread here, and then I had to change my thread. Now I need to add some more. I'm going to start at the top with my knotted thread. I'm not going to go in at the, at the um, beginning of the design. I'm actually going to enter the ball about an inch away and then I bring my needle up in the right place and pull it through. And now if you can see where the knot is coming, I'm going to just give my thread a little tug and bury that knot inside the th wrapped thread and wool. I then turn the ball, lay the thread down right next to the one before it. And at this end, I'm gonna go under and over that marking thread Pull that up and through, turn the ball again, lay that thread right alongside, smooth it out a little bit, under and over my marking thread again, just like that. We'll go one more round here and then I'll show you how I tie it off. So I'm going to go down. end up at the top of the ball, top of the design. I can't tie a knot here, so I need to bury my thread end deep inside the ball. I'll go down under that thread, the marking thread, and then come out a distance away and pull that through. Then I'm going to go down in the same place where I came up, but I'm going to move my needle in a different direction and come up in a different place. And then I'm going to do that one more time, go down in the same place where I came up, bring my needle up in a different place, and I'm going to get my little scissors here, take the tail and apply a little tension to it, Oops. and snip that thread. The end is now sucked back into the ball and well buried, and the stitches are nice and secure. And I'm going to go on and I will finish the lozenge design so that it looks like that. I hope you found this interesting. Please come see me on my website www.yarndancevt.com or um, at the Craft Vermont virtual show. You can visit me in chat. Um, you can always leave me an email uh, or contact me via my website. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks a lot.